Hi, Mr. Wright here, and welcome to this film in which I'll take you through my predictions for the Edexcel IGCSE Maths exam in November 25. Specifically, these are my predictions for Paper 1H. And once we've got Paper 1H out of the way, I'll release another film for my predictions for Paper 2H. But if you are preparing for your Edexcel IGCSE Maths this November, November 2025, this film is essential viewing as it will help you target your revision on the, those areas that matter. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And let me just take a minute to tell you what's available to you. Here is the YouTube channel, all of which is focused on preparing you for your Edexcel IGCSE Maths. If I just scroll down here, that Results Day 2025 playlist will have been replaced very soon with a Preparing for November 25 playlist. And then underneath that, you have playlists for Algebra, Number, Shape and Space, Handling Data, and Graphs. And in each of those playlists, you will find a playlist for each topic. And within the playlist for each topic, you will find how-to films and also walkthroughs of past IGCSE exam questions. And the last thing to show you here is at the bottom, oh, two more things actually, at the bottom, you will find collections of past IGCSE exam questions sorted into grade. And also at the bottom of the screen there, IGCSE past paper walkthrough. So there is an awful lot here to help you on the YouTube channel. And I will put a link to the YouTube channel in the description of this film. The last thing to tell you about before I crack on with the predictions are my live revision sessions, which are scheduled to run just before your paper one in November. So I'll put a link to this page in the film description as well. And you can see that I am running three revision sessions before your paper one. One is focused on the topics I predict, which are about grade four or five level. The second one focused on topics that I predict, which are about a grade six or seven level. And the third one on the 4th of November, which is the night before your exam on the 5th, are run through is is a run through of predicted questions on predicted topics of a grade eight nine level now you'll know what grade you're going for and you'll know which of those sessions is useful to you but if you are aiming for a grade eight nine i would urge you to attend the session on the 3rd of november and on the 4th of november because of course if you want that top grade you need to be getting all the marks you can on the easier questions too. And then as you can see on the page, I'm running a revision session on the night before your paper 2H, during which we will run through the topics, grades seven, eight, and nine topics, which haven't yet come up, which didn't come up on paper 1H. So please do book in for one of these revision sessions if you'd like to, they're not expensive, and you will find them extremely useful as you prepare for your exam. I'll put the link to this page in the film description. Now, first things first, if you are watching this film and preparing for your exams in November, please hit like and let me know that you're out there. And coming up on the channel to help you very soon will be my grey boundary predictions, so you'll know what mark you will want to be hitting to get your target grade. Then I will release a film around my predicted topics and I will give you a film full of targeted practice. So for each of my predicted topics, there'll be an easier question and a top grade question too. And lastly, I will very soon be releasing my likely list. Now, my likely list is full of those topics which come up on nine out of 10 of every set of IGCSE papers. But these are the accessible topics. These are the topics which are grade four, five, and six. So if you're targeting one of those grades, these are the topics that you'll want to target. So given that all that is coming up on the channel, please hit subscribe and then you'll get a notification when those films are released. Right, the predictions. Here we go. So here is my first set of predictions. Now let me explain 
how I formed these predictions and what that number on the right hand side means. So I have carefully analysed the last 18 IGCSE papers and I have categorised each question into a topic and then worked out how often each topic has come up. Now the figure on the right there, if you have a look, it says differentiation, spelled wrong, it says differentiation 56. Well that means that in the last 18 papers differentiation has come up on 56% of the last 18 papers. So if you bear in mind that you're going to sit two papers, we are expecting differentiation to appear on one of those papers because it comes up on half of the last 18 papers. So if we just have a look at the top of that list since we started the shop, differentiation, how to differentiate and using differentiation to find maximums and minimums of functions, to find the gradients of functions and also to find the maximum and minimum of other things such as the maximum volume given the surface area of a cuboid or using differentiation in kinematics as well. Rearranging formula, Again, 56%, we are talking about straightforward rearranging a formula or rearranging a formula where you have to factorize and then divide. Vectors is a topic that comes up on one of every two papers. I'm expecting that to come up in November on one of the papers. It seems to come up every year. And that is a very good topic for you if you're aiming for a grade seven, eight or nine, as is transforming curves. Now, similar shapes, again, 56%, a bit more accessible. We are talking about scale factors, about surface area and volume, as well as lengths. Standard form comes up every year on one out of every two papers, we think. And that is a good accessible topic for all of you. Linear graphical inequalities, cumulative frequency, SIRDs, sine rule, cosine rule, using the area of a triangle, using that trig formula, area problems, quadratic graphs and algebraic fractions. They all come up or have come up on one in every two of the last 18 papers. So I'm expecting those topics to come up on your paper 1H. And if they don't come up on your paper 1H, I'm expecting to see them in paper 2H. Now, those topics which have a rating of below 50% are still worth your attention because after all, 44% or 39% isn't far from 50%. So to be frank, I would be expecting questions on the following topics too. Circle theorems, ratio, Pythagoras, quadratic equations, perhaps where you have to use the formula or perhaps where you need to factorise. Um, operations with mixed numbers. You remember those are always those show that questions. Um, I would be revising prime factors. That and operations with mixed numbers and quadratic equations and Pythagoras and ratio are all accessible topics. So very important to target those, whatever grade you're going for. If you're going for a top grade, you need to get these questions right on your way to your top grade. And if you're going for a grade four, five or six, you need to get these questions right to get your grade four, five or six. Changing units, finding the mean from group data, mid madding, find the midpoint, multiply, and divide, solving linear inequalities, and solving problems with volume. Now that's my first list of topics. These are topics which tend to come up once across each pair of papers. So I'm thinking they're going to come up once for you in November. Now please don't worry to write down this list. I'll give you a link at the end of the film and you can download the list and also on the list you can download a links to the playlists on each of these topics too. Right, let's continue. Now what about those topics which come up more than once across each pair of papers? Well here they are, these are the topics which have come up on more than half the last 18 papers. So we are thinking these topics are going to come up at least once and possibly twice for you in your papers in November. Let's go from the bottom, Venn diagrams. Often using Venn diagrams to solve wordy questions and sometimes using set notation 
two. Sequences, now, sometimes finding the nth term of a sequence or the next term of a sequence, and at a grade seven, eight, and nine level, using the formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. Functions, including composite functions. Remember, all of these are playlists, and you can download this full revision list at the end of this film, and that full list has links to each of the playlists. Polygons, finding exterior angles, finding interior angles, finding angles at the center, and solving problems involving angles in polygons. Cones, pyramids, and spheres, the formulas for you are on the formula sheet, as I hope you know. We are talking about area and volume and surface area of cones, pyramids, and spheres. And often you need to use one formula to uh, work out a value, perhaps the radius, and then use that value in a second formula. Factorizing quadratics. Again, that's an accessible topic for all of you. Bounds. Look at this. We're on 72%. So these are topics which come up definitely once and are probably twice across your two papers. Bounds, histograms, that appears on the likely list. Problems involving the circumference and area of circles using the formula C equals pi D and A equals pi R squared. Problems around uh, statistics, around mean, medium, mode, and range, and interquartile range. Simultaneous equations, look at that, we're on 78% now. So these are topics which I would think will come up twice across your papers, perhaps once on paper one and once on paper two. Simultaneous equations, linear simultaneous equations for everyone, whatever grade you're going for, and solving simultaneous equations when one of them is quadratic is a harder version of simultaneous equations. Linear equations, an accessible topic for everyone. Expanding brackets, again, accessible to all, I hope. Trigonometry, again, I'll expect to see this twice. One two dimensions question, and one question involving trig in three dimensions. And lastly, in this section, coordinate geometry. Now, what does that mean? That involves solving problems which are on a coordinate axis. Perhaps you are finding the gradients of lines or the equations of lines, the equation of a perpendicular bisector, a point which appears on two lines or satisfies two constraints. Coordinate geometry is a big topic for those of you going for those top grades. If you're not going for a top grade, if instead you're four, five, or six, coordinate geometry does not appear on the likely list, so I would steer clear of it. Now, there's one more list coming up, and that is those topics which come up, on average, more than once on each paper. Now, before we look at those, a quick reminder about the revision sessions, which you might like to book. The link is in the film description. Right, which are those three topics which come up more than once on each paper? Look at that, percentages, comes up on average uh, three times on every two papers. So I'm expecting you to have three percentage questions on your two papers in November. I would be expecting uh, a question on percentage profit or loss, perhaps, a question on percentage change, and a question on compound percentage changes, on repeated percentage changes. Now, each of those, I hope, is an accessible topic to all of you. And of course, you'll find the playlist very useful. Probability, I expect, to come up on both of your papers. Sometimes those questions involve a table, and you have to figure out the missing probability and use that to work out an expected number of outcomes. And sometimes these questions involve a probability tree. Now, probability is a great topic for everyone because the questions tend to be accessible. And lastly, indices and powers. Again, these questions range from the very straightforward, where you simply need to have learnt your rules of indices, to the more complex, where perhaps indices are fractional or negative or both. Now, as I have said, all of these topics are featured on the revision list that you can download. You can download this document. There's the top of it on the screen now, my predictions document for November 2025. It contains all of these topics, 
listed in their percentage order. And on the right hand side there, you can see that there are links to each of the playlists. on the So channel. what next? Well, download the predictions document. The link is in the film's description and use that to help you target your revision. Book in for the revision sessions if you'd like to. There are limited places. So if you know you want to come, get on and book your ticket for those. Use the YouTube channel. There is so much there to help you. And lastly, get in touch if I can help. If you're stuck or you're looking for resources on a particular topic, get in touch, let me know, and I'll help you out as best I can. Right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next film.